Now, Arika, I'm about to do the thing that you want me to do. Uh, the candle vision thing. Uh, I've got Lennon here to help me, because, well, Jake's on a date, and Daphne's, uh, well, I didn't call her to ask, but anyways, the only reason I'm doing this is to help Aggie. I don't trust you, Erica. Lennon, I don't think you should trust her. I have no clue who Erica is. I don't watch Agatha's videos. Uh, well, you should. She's on your side, I think. Oh? What's she? A, a witch, too. <sighs> all these newcomers. They think they can just waltz in here and have all these opinions about this shit. Wally, I'm telling you all the smart ones, they don't pick a side. You picked a side. Yeah, to survive. I don't want you to have to do that. Then... why? Why me? Why are you trying so hard to protect me? Well... Okay, I'll tell you a story. I spent the first 30 years of my life sitting on the rocks and singing to helpless men. And then we would strip the crash ships of our parts and supplies. And that's how we made our living. You know, the family business. Well, anyways, one day I'm climbing through all the wreckage and checking out our loot, and I come across a boy. I guess he was about your age, late teens, early 20s, but he was the only one who didn't drown himself, and I realized it was because he was deaf, and he couldn't hear the song, and I never... Before that, I never really thought about what we were doing luring all these sailors to their deaths. But then I see him, and he's crying, and his leg is stuck under a fallen beam, and I just think, like, what the fuck am I doing? He didn't ask to be involved in any of this, and then we just came along and we ruined everything, and that's not fair. It's not fair at all. So, the next day I just start swimming, and eventually I make my way to shore and I get my first job on any boat I could find that would hire a girl. But the point of the story is that humans shouldn't get caught up in all this magic shit they don't know anything about, even witchy humans. You didn't ask to be put into this life, you weren't raised in it, and so you shouldn't have to be forced to deal with our bullshit. That's all. Um, what happened to the boy? He died. Well. My mother caught me trying to talk to him, so she killed him. It's not really a happy ending. Sorry. You know, this is actually really interesting. I don't know how candle spells work at all. Me neither. Uh, I've got an email Erica sent me, and candles from Home Depot. Uh, let's see how this goes. I, I, um, I, I need, I need to find Jake. J Jake, Jake, why? I, uh, he's, he's in danger. Um, I, 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 I need to find him. I, I, uh, I, I didn't, I, I didn't see anything, but that doesn't mean there wasn't anything there. No, there was something there. It, it was just, um, I, I can't explain it. It was, um, it, it was the wind. It, w it was just the wind. Wally. How do you fight a vampire? Carefully. Can you fight a vampire? It, it depends on the vampire. Jake is fine. Everything is fine. It just turned out that Jake's date was a vampire. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. How's your head? It's okay. Like, I don't think he was that strong. Uh, good. Well, can I get you anything? Nah. So, we think that the vampire was a mercenary hired by either the Sealy Court or the Lady. I think it was the Lady, cause like, outsiders still can't get in, so how would the Sealy Court be able to get this guy in? Well, Rosalind's in, she could've hired him. Oh. Plus there's the internet, they could've communicated through that. Man, it's so weird to think about like, vampires using the internet. I mean, like, that's how I met Greg, but... Did you want to talk about this? Yeah. I mean, I, I think I like dudes. Like, 
I went on a date with a dude, so I think I like dudes. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the whole, my date was a vampire and then attacked me thing. Oh. You're worried about that? Oh, no, that was, that was a thing, too. I mean, like, I guess it's kind of unfortunate that the first guy I ever really went on a date with was, like, just trying to get to my roommate, but whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. That I, sh I shouldn't have gotten you involved with all of this. Oh, it's, so, it's okay. I mean, if I was, like, not about all this magic shit, then I could just get a room transfer. We're cool, dude. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. What are friends for? Thanks. Milk. So, uh, you're cool with me, like, being your roommate and liking guys and everything? It's chill? Yeah, I'm, I'm bisexual. Oh, okay. It's cool. So, like, we can talk about hot guys, too, then? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I guess. Okay, so, hottest Avenger? It's gotta be Black Widow. Really? When Chris Hemsworth exists? Sorry. No, no, I get it, I get it. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and nurse myself a bit, but I'll see y'all later. What did Lena run off to? Oh, she went to go check on the whole mercenary thing. Do you think your sister would do this? I don't know, honestly. I think there's a lot of things she would do for the greater good. And or what she thinks is the greater good. And, and what does she want with me? Well, she thinks you can take down the barrier, open the city to attack. And then she'd... Attack. We've been wanting the city back for hundreds of years. I haven't even been here that long, and I know that it's a den of corruption with a dire need for new leadership. It makes sense. So the best way to do that is with hostile takeover? I'm not saying I agree with her, I'm just saying that's what she wants. But what do you want? Go home, see my mom, see my friends. I just want my life back. I'm sorry. You don't get exiled without making a few mistakes. I'm just paying for them now. Still. Thanks. Thank you for being here with me tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's the least I can do. And I know you don't trust me, but I, I, wa I want you to know that I want to make up for it, and I'm going to protect you. Thank you. All right, Aggie, that's it. Um, I hope you have a great Christmas, and I'll talk to you soon. I love you.